Okay, I guess this is going. I don't know. Um, I, I, guys, sorry about today. If you can get that, um, I <laughs> talked to some folks after class about some other stuff and did some other problems after you know everyone left. Sorry about that. Um, also, I think you'll be happy. I extended the due date on this because of the thirty-eight problems. But you know, please go in and make those attempts. Please, please, please. Um, and maybe this video will help. Uh, I'm walking back in the hallway. I had to stop to go to the bathroom. I know too much information. And then um, I figure it out. <laughs> I'm just, I told you it was there. It just took a while to get there. I don't know. Um, got to the car, made a video, and it didn't, the, for whatever reason, the audio didn't work. I don't know. Maybe my fat belly was on the microphone. I have no idea. So here we are. I got to make the video again. Okay. So this is the one we were working on in class. According to Master Foods, the company that manufactures M&Ms, 12%, 15%, 22%. 23%, 22%, 15%. Okay, let's go quickly go over these ones again. Compute the probability that randomly selected peanut M&M is not orange. So it's key. You can choose the orange, right? And that would be 23%, but that's not what they're asking. So the probability that the that you select an orange M&M is 0.23 or 23 out of 100 or 23%. Those are all the same number. Okay. The probability of not orange, if we did a whole tr uh, tree diagram, you would have all kinds of branches. But this one idea coupled with another one will make a lot of this problem set easier. So the first technique is to think of not orange and orange, meaning change this whole tree. Because if we built the tree out, we'd have brown and then all the six branches and then red and all the six branches and then blue and all the six branches. But we can change this tree diagram to only be comprised of two options. Make it binary. And this would be orange, not orange. Orange, not orange. Orange, not orange. So if I pick two, this bottom branch is not orange. This upper branch is orange. This one is orange, not orange, and then not orange, orange. So we, we took this, I think, six M&Ms and turned it into a binary orange, not orange. We don't care about the not orange, what specific color it is. We only care that it's not orange. So that's key technique number one. I know this problem doesn't really point to that a whole lot because we know that if the probability of orange is 23%, the probability of not orange is the complement of that. So one minus the probability of orange, which is one minus 0.23 which is 0.77. Now we did that in class. So that's part B. Oh, I'm sorry, that's part A. Part B, compute the probability that a randomly selected peanut M&M is brown or yellow. So that's the probability of brown or yellow, which is the same as, I'm just changing notation, brown or yellow. So we're gonna, if we had a Venn diagram, that's the universe. Here are our six M&Ms. Probability of brown or yellow is adding these two shaded regions together. Okay? Because that's, we don't care if it's brown or, or yellow, we just want to know the probability of one of those things, so we would just join them together. Now, it gets more complicated if we had an M&M that was brown and yellow say striped okay because those m&ms would be inside this and inside this in other words our venn diagram for brown and yellow would have this overlap of these striped m&ms then we have to deploy the addition rule we can add them together and then subtract the overlap okay add them together and subtract the overlap in this case we don't need to do that why because to be brown to be a brown M&M or a yellow M&M, they are mutually exclusive, meaning you cannot be both brown and yellow for these M&Ms, okay? For the ones that we're talking about, you cannot both be brown and yellow. So there is no overlap. Hopefully that makes sense. So the answer to B is in fact the sum of those two things. I think one of them was 15% and one of them was uh, 12% for a total of 27% or 0.27. Uh, we can check that.
pow. So the, for the numbers that we have here, 27%. Okay, compute the probability that two randomly selected peanut M&Ms are both red. Okay, working on this, we would make a tree diagram. You could have red, and you'd have all the other five and have all their branches and all that kind of stuff. We could, like we did up here, simplify the image by just saying red, not red. And then not red, red, not red, red. And again, using that same technique, if I'm looking for red, then red, it's really these, this branch, which I think red was 12%, so it's 0.12 times 0.12, which is the probability of red, then red. And that's 0 0.0144, okay? Again, we did this in class all the way down to this one here. And this is where I was like, why, why, why? Because I'm, I'm, I'm just, sorry, I was blanking. I was slow, whatever you want to call it. The prob what if the randomly selected five peanut M&Ms? So our tree would be ginormous, right? We'd have brown. And this is what happened. I was jammed up with that teacher. And then in five minutes, I was like, oh, no, I'm stupid here. We need to do this. So we have brown, red, blue, yellow, green, and orange. So key number one or technique number one is to jam all these together into not orange. So it's, it greatly simplifies our tree diagram, okay? We still don't want to dry, draw the tree diagram because it would be not orange or uh, what are we looking for? Not orange? That none of them are orange. None of them are orange. So we have orange, not orange, orange, not orange, orange, not orange, okay? I'm gonna draw it all out. I know you're gonna sit here and watch it. You can you can scrub faster or speed it up, right? Um, orange, not orange. 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 That's four. Orange, not orange. Orange, not orange. Orange, not orange. There's two coming out of that, two coming out of this, two coming out of this, I'll draw orange, not orange. Two out of here, because I just, for whatever reason, I have some space. Orange, not orange. All I want you to do is see the following. All of these branches have an orange, have um, an orange in it. Here's an orange. All the way down, doesn't matter, but there's an orange in this branch. As soon as I go over here, so none of these branches are okay because they have this first orange. Then also none of these branches are here are okay because they all have this first orange, right? Remember, we're looking for probability that none of them are orange. That's eliminating half of them because they have that first orange, boom. Now when I look at these, orange, not orange, orange, not orange, Orange, not orange. Orange, not orange. One, two, three, four, five. Orange, not orange. You get the gist. The bottom line is I want to get to this. That's the only branch that doesn't have any orange. So in other words, it's the only branch where the prob that where that I have that is that is the one that represents the probability that none of them are orange. It's only this bottom one because as soon as I get this orange here, this whole all those branches go away. As soon as I get this one here, all those branches go away. As soon as I get the orange up here, all those. So this is the only one, that bottom one. Now what's the probability of that one? Well, we figured out earlier the probability of not orange is 0.77. So to calculate this, we have 0.77 times 0.77 times 0.77 times 0.77 times 0.77 so 0.77 to the fifth which is oh it's right there 0 0.27067 0 0.27067 84157 84157 okay so that's that one. That's the one I get jammed up on. 
was trying to get E, app, trying to use E to prompt me and it wasn't getting there because I, just my brain was not working, whatever we're using. If you randomly select five peanut M&Ms, same scenario, compute the probability that at least one of them is orange. None of them are orange or at least one. These two ideas are complements. These ideas are complements. None of them are orange, or at least one is orange. In all of these other branches up here, at least one of them is orange because it excluded them from the none of them are orange. So this one is just one minus probability of at least one of them orange is equal to 1 minus 0 0.27067841576. Oops, 57. Or point, what is that going to be? 7303216, whatever. Something below it. You get it. 0.7293. Oh, yeah, yeah, 93. 7293. Doing a subtraction in my head. Broken. 0.7293. Okay? Hopefully this helps. Check the date, the due date on... It only applies to fall 23 if I use this video again. Um, check the due date on uh, the 38 problem set or whatever it is. All right? Thanks for your patience with me. Good night.